Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is pay attention to your gut when you're dating. Now this sounds like something that we all do. Like we all pay attention. We listen to what's going on. But unfortunately, the biggest problem with why things aren't working out for a lot of people is because they're not listening closely enough to what's going on inside. We all have warning signs and there's a little red flags that pop up when we're talking to people, when we're listening to, are we a good, are we a good match? Is there a connection happening here? But sometimes if we're really attracted to a certain person, we tend to push those little signs and bells and everything out of the way because we just are so drawn to them. If you're having a lot of problems with, with dating and, and a lot of repetitive problems, there is something that you're doing that is a situation that is causing you to going back and forth to the same old thing over and over again because you're attracted to whatever that is. When you are dating a similar type of person and things are constantly not working out for you, you have to sit down to the drawing board again and start maybe even write out what's happening, what's going on on these dates. If you're not hearing the warning bells and paying close attention to the signs that are being given to you, you're going to continually have distress in your life when it comes to dating because you're doing repetitive patterns that aren't working out for you. And if you keep expecting different results from the same negative patterns, it's not going to happen until you change up what isn't working. We can all be our own worst saboteur without even realizing that we're the culprit. We're not going to get along with everyone we date. That's okay. It's a training ground. Dating is a training ground and it's teaching you lessons about what you're supposed to learn. And the quicker you learn the lessons, the quicker you move on from problems and situations that don't work for you. This is the thing that I'm finding a lot of people aren't really grasping. They just are repeating. And the trouble is your gut instincts are your best friend. They're pretty good at telling you what's right for you and what's not right for you. But so many people, I mean, I've done it too. That's why I'm talking about it. I've given situations a chance that never should have happened, but my gut told me it shouldn't happen. And I just overrode that. Always listen to what's going on in here. If there's any sort of warning signs at all, pay attention to them. It's your smart self talking to you. Sometimes we let our loins talk to us or our attraction, our sexual attraction to somebody overrule everything else. And that's not what dating is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be paying attention to the whole picture and really listening. If you are starting off really fast with somebody and you're jumping into bed with them really quickly and then things fizzle out really quickly after, it's because you're not paying attention to what's going on with the person. You need to take time to get to know who they are and see if there's a connection. Just because you're drawn to somebody sexually doesn't mean there's a, a, a connection in every other part of them. And that's why I always stress that people take a little bit of time to get to know somebody before they let all that other sort of romantic -y, intimate things come into play. Because that screws you up. That messes with everything. If you're ignoring the red flags in a, a new partner because there's other things that you really like, they don't get better with time. It's usually the opposite. It usually becomes the biggest catalyst in why there becomes a problem between you as a couple. If it even gets further on down the line. Sometimes people just keep dating the same type of people over and over again and it never gets past the third or second or third date. And so there's another issue. Why doesn't it? What's going on? It's not everybody else's fault all the time. Sometimes we have to sit down and look at ourselves and say, what am I doing here? Am I, why am I not listening? I knew when I went on that date that this person probably wasn't going to be great for me. But I thought, I'll give it a chance. I'll do it anyway. If you know quite strongly that something is not right, don't do it. Your gut is, as I said earlier, is your best friend. And you really need to trust it and listen to it. 
That's why so many people are having so many problems because it is a repetitive pattern of what they keep going back for. You know when you're dating somebody and they're making excuses why they can't see you or they bail on you, ghost you, all the things that are going on in today's crazy dating world. Don't see them again. Don't try and find a way to make it happen. That is a sign that they're not right for you and you are supposed to move on. Giving all these second, third, fourth chances to somebody who doesn't treat you well is not what you should be doing. Because then you're asking for someone to come into your life and treat you that way. When you go like this to it, you're changing up a pattern that hasn't been working. And now you're saying, okay, this, this is what I want to come forth. This is what I deserve. This is what I expect from how I want to be treated. And that's what you should be listening to. That's the voice, that's the gut instinct. Listen to it and you will have a much better dating situation. It's not all about the numbers of how many people you date, it's about the quality of the person you date. You are in charge of who you attract and bring into your world. So it's really important if you're finding that it's not working for you, that there are a few things you need to alter. It's just a really simple procedure once you understand that's what's going on. For example, if you're dating somebody and all they talk about is sex on the first couple of dates with you and it bothers you and you're not ready to go there, then don't see them anymore. The thing that I find is when you remove yourself from certain patterns and things that you've done for a long time and they're causing grief or problems in your life, when you just change it a little bit and start to understand why it isn't working for you and why you are having constant sort of drama or constant situations that aren't working, then you get it that this is what you have to do. You just have to tweak it just a little bit. You want to meet people who have the same intentions and you're on the same page with them moving forward with what you want in your life. If you're serious about wanting a relationship, listen to your gut and move on from people that are playing games or are just there to have, you know, a conversation or somebody to make themselves feel good. If somebody doesn't want to meet you, you know, fairly soon after you're talking to them, then you have to say to yourself, they're probably not really serious about wanting to be in a partnership and that's what you're looking for. So give energy to people who are looking for the same things as you are. And maybe stay within your city limits as well, especially if you're online dating, because you don't want to end up in a, in a convoluted sort of partnership where you're only seeing them once every six months and keep hoping for more. Make things happen that work for you within your city and people who actually say what they mean and they come forth and they want to get to know you and see you in person. That's the sort of thing that works. So if your gut is telling you they're just playing a game, they're not really into me, they're not willing to have a relationship, listen to it. Thank you so much everyone for listening to Cypress Sue today. Please leave any comments. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do so. And please leave any show topic ideas you have in the comment section. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.